All right, so these are the scones we got. They turned out great. It's got this nice, uh, fresh, like, like kind of, uh, um, flour, like, you know, when it, you make like it, like it does anyways, and it tastes fresh. It doesn't taste like some three day old donut, like in the stores or so, you know, or some big thing that you get like this and you about eat it and it feels like you're eating a half a pound of sugar and it about kill you. It's like healthy, like look at all them blueberries and stuff. It cooked the raisins to where the raisins are uh, soft and stuff. Pretty good. All right, Lisa. So what do we got here? Some scones? Yes. All right. And we're working with, uh, we're going to do some uh, currants and uh, blueberries, right? Right. See how it all bakes together with a little bit of mix to this twist to this recipe? Yes. Okay, so how do we start this? Okay, so the recipe says um, you sift together flour, bacon powder, salt, and sugar. So you can use a sifter or you could just put it in the bowl. And you need two cups of flour. Okay. So two cups of flour, that would be all the way to the top right here, right? Yes. Okay. Here, you want me to pour it in there for you? Yeah. Just do that. Two cups. Yeah. So we'll get two cups. A little bit more. Okay. Let's see, okay, there's and two cups of flour. And then you need to put in bacon powder. And then bacon powder is two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Okay. Curse. Have to <laughs> dig it in. Here, let me help you. Okay. So two of these? Yes. Okay, there's one. Well, fresh right off the bacon powder rock, huh? Mm -hmm. Nah, it's uh, just bacon powder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now you're looking at one teaspoon of salt. Is this a teaspoon? Yes. Okay, so we got a teaspoon of salt. there okay so that much mm -hmm. yes okay and then the next one is sugar and it's only one tablespoon of sugar so this is a tablespoon okay sugar yes right there this kind of sugar yes what is it confectionate or no, is that regular regular granulated sugar regular sugar okay so one of these yes all right. Okay, now you take this mixing spoon and you mix, mix it, it up. Mix it together. We could put that way back there. All right. I'm not the pro at this yet, but I'm learning. But I can guarantee you we are going to have some good scones that anybody could do at home. Easy recipe. Easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Oh man, <laughs> it's attacking me. Okay, so when you get it in, you mix it in, then you cut in shortening. Okay, cut in some shortening. You need a half a cup. See, just making sure that's all mixed up. Okay, so a half a cup of shortening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, you can use measuring cups, but we don't have any at the moment. 
So this is uh, this is the shortening, okay, Crisco? Isn't shortening also butter? Um, yes. Like margarine? It could be. But this one is easier just to work with. Okay, and then you put it in. And we're using all vegetable shortening. Okay, so that was half a cup? Yes. Okay. And then we, we mash that in it? Yes. You want me to do that? Sure. Okay. It'd probably be a whole lot easier, too, if we had some of the right tools to mash this in, or if we put it in, maybe, can't we melt this before we put it in, make it easier? Okay. Because like, this is going to be some work. But we'll show you how it's done the poor man style. This is just what we got to work with right now, kind of. So we just uh, going to do what we can. Anyways, uh, once we get the eggs and all that, though, that'll help break it all in together, huh? Yes. Do you mean to tell me that this recipe is pretty much just like this easy? Yes, it is. So what do I do? I just keep mixing this? Yes, keep mixing it. Okay. Is it supposed to turn doughy? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, so we got some stuff to do before we get there. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to take the uh, two eggs, put it in this measuring cup, okay. and beat it. Now, what do you think? Should we, you think it'd be a little easier if we uh, if we would have melted the shortening? Probably would have. You could also probably have used vegetable oil. Oh, like poured vegetable oil in here? Yes, but I've never made scones before with vegetable oil. Now, why aren't you using margarine? Why have you chose to use this? Because I'm following the recipe. Oh, okay, the recipe. Well, I thought margarine was shortening. See, I'm not a pro cook, so like, I don't know yet. My wife, she bakes all the time. But I decided I'm coming in the kitchen, and I want to cook with everybody. So I get to help you all. And okay, next, Lisa make some breakfast. All right. Next, you pour in the beaten egg. Got the beaten eggs. And then keep doing this. And milk. And okay, milk. Milk is half a cup of milk. Yeah, okay, half a cup so of milk. You can use regular milk, or we are using almond and coconut milk. We use almond and coconut milk. We don't need all that extra added stuff. We just want the healthiest stuff we can get. We love to eat. And as long as it's healthy, we want to go with it. Okay, and I'm going to pour in there a half a cup of milk. Pour in the milk. All right. It looks like it's getting somewhere. And it says to add the raisins. The raisins? Okay. So that is... A cup and one fourth. There we go. You got your raisins. See, and we could try this. We were going to try this recipe without raisins. We we're just going to throw the blueberries in. But we thought, well, we need the jam to fill it in the middle. And when you bake it, it gets the raisins uh, probably soft. So we said, let's try with the uh, uh, raisins and the blueberries. So we're going to do a unique twist on this one. And uh, I'll bet it's going to turn out great. Because I love food and I know what I like to eat. Okay, 
this. I'm going to rinse out the measuring cup. I broke the bowl. I guess that's what you get when you pay a dollar. <laughs> it did, it cracked. It's all right though, it's all right. I guess if we had a better bowl for this, babe, we could like, I could really like put some work into this flour, but like, I started to actually like get rough with it and uh and it already broke the bowl. I mean that's about a bowl that I like when I eat cereal. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean that's like the kind of bowl you get when you eat a big old bowl of cereal. Yeah, then you don't have to always go back and keep pouring it out of the box. That's a hungry man's bowl. Okay, I got this dough. So like, would they say we like uh, cut the dough like when it's all together? Like, should I just use my hands and work this? Like, yeah. I mean, we'll do it differently. We're eating it anyways. Yeah, I think that's a whole lot better. We're eating it anyways. My hands are clean. Whoops. Oh man. Okay. We still gotta add the currants. Currants? Raisins. Alright, let's get the babies in here. Whoop. Getting a little bit noisy. I actually use this white thing and well, we get all. There we go. Okay, so the recipe says. I need to lock this bowl down with a with uh, some kind of strap. Mix it into a soft dough. So you mix it all together. Alright. Get these raisins in there to a soft dough. I already got the soft dough. Wow. That's uh, that's actually looking pretty good. We're getting there. But I still, in my opinion, I'm looking at these raisins right now, and I know what I like to eat. And I think that, like, my idea of the blueberries is way cooler. Like, because the original recipe with raisins, everybody's always using raisins, but I like blueberries. So, anyways, uh, so, okay, so what do I do now? I got okay, so it. you take the dough, and you put it on a floured surface. Yeah, on a floured surface. How do I do it? Like this? Okay, no, nope. you just put it on here. Put it on there. And then you divide it in half. Divide it in half. We just go like that, pretty much. Yes. And, uh. Okay, so since you're working with one, you could put the other one back in the bowl. Okay, working with just one? Yes. Okay. So. Now, what do I do now? Well, now you would roll and or pat each piece into a, a circle, but. We're using a square pan, so okay. you're going to have to do the square pan. Okay, should I flip it and get both sides with flour, or is yeah. it just one it's side? Fine. you could do that. Okay, so I just make it a square. Okay. And then oh, when you're done... Oh, I, I got the idea of how to do this. I then, could almost see it totally clearly. Let's you, uh, bring this a little closer to the camera. Okay, when I'm done, then... The just, butter pan. You've got to take a spray. Okay, you show us how it's done. You're gonna get this to a nice square. And you just spray it lightly. If I can do this, you can do this. And you put it you put it in there. Okay. Alright. Oh, that's gonna turn out great. Okay, I can so just see it. Like, what you're gonna do now is just pat it until it covers the whole entire thing. Pat it down. Yes. Get it down there. To cover the thing. Just uh Work that dough. Work that dough. All right. Look at that. Mm. Okay. And then next, you. Um, Is that my blueberries? Yes. All right. You so, spread it over this whole thing. Okay. So I just figured let's just go with the blueberries and. Uh, 
Oh, where was the surprise supposed to measure that? But anyways, I'm not going to need to measure it because I know I love blueberries. So I'm just going to fill it with blueberries. If you were going to do it with jam, then it would be three-fourths cup of the jam and you would spread it yeah, I all could, over it. I could have just measured it. But anyways, uh, so we're just doing the blueberries. And then uh, I can already see the idea. I do the next thing with the dough again and put it on the top, don't I? Yes. Okay, so yeah, let's check this baby out. All right, next piece. Wow, this is going to be great. First thing I've ever like really, really, really made. Pretty good in the kitchen, huh? Yes. Professional. Because I got Lisa with me. Show me how it's done. She learned from her mama. Her and her mama be cooking all the time. Professional. Okay, I'm going to make sure this one really gets spread out there. So we're going to get a really get that right on that pan. Uh, all right. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, look at that. What? Oh, okay. I can't wait to see what happens. Okay, so the next thing. Because this is, um, if this was our circle, you would cut it into six pieces. So you would do, so you're supposed to cut it now. Cut it now? Before. Before you, you bake, bake it. it? Yes, that's what the recipe calls what for. What in the world? It says cut through dough with sharp knife, divide it into six wedges. So that would serve six. Um, all right, let's see what we can do. I'll go with... Uh, Guess I'll go right down the middle. Well, since I'm cheating the recipe, I'm gonna make it four hungry man slices. Okay. Okay. We're going four hungry man slices. It's interesting. Interesting. Well, they do it that way, so it's already cut. It actually cook like that and it'll be cut? Yes. That is super cool. Make sure I got that dough all the way at the bottom. Mmm. Yeah. Talking. And you thought Martha Stewart had good recipes. Look okay, at so the this. next thing is you you would preheat your oven to 425. Which, uh, we didn't do. we're going the, uh, poor man style. We just got one of them, like, $25 ovens. And, uh, anyways, uh, so we're gonna, and it's already, doesn't even, like, need preheated, because you just put it there, and it's, like, there. So we're gonna cook this, and we will come up next with, uh, the results. Whoop. <laughs> we put it in for, uh, 35 minutes. And uh, I would recommend putting it at about 375 for 35 minutes. Some ovens may vary. Uh, you may be able to bake it. Just check it out. See what works for you. But uh, 35 minutes worked for us. And it uh, at about 375. And, that, and then you should have the perfect scones. Pretty good.